Está reforzando el otro mundo. Oh, God. Thanks, so. Nervous on saving. Hmm, good portrait. Oh, God. Yep. Get it painful. Grenade launcher? This is like it's gonna take a couple tries. way to avoid that. What? I survived! Only good eye. Wait, hang on. Idea. Beautiful.
There'd be the last guy. It wasn't. But I do get a grenade launcher though. No bastard. Did it. it was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Dead now. God damn it. Punchinello's trio was done for. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. The he was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him nothing. two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, 
It's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah. You were fresh out of cash. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. The flesh of fallen angels. staring at me. Bartender is shiny stuff and dreams are made of stupid necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist, having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. The caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel, funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. I love that line so much. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar.
Alright, in power of video editing, I'm back. I guess there's no harm going down. I guess if you can't go... Like... The solution should be able to go back down. Because you can't go back up. And you don't want the player to get stuck. That's the way I'm seeing it, and I'm oh, undershooting it, god damn it. Oh, come on. Can I make it? Nope. Nope. Here, okay, and don't fall off, don't fall off. We made it. Wait, shit, what? That was weird, I could barely jump. at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Bonnie, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew.
All right, we're back. Oh, well, lost all my good guns. That's unfortunate. Okay. Got a little bit of something. Yeah, got the commando back. Arguably one of the best guns in the game. Not to say there are a lot of strong guns in the game, we already got them all. Guys, where's the other one? All right, not bad. Oh, this is the level had lava, I remember. From the Game Boy version.
like if I jump in there. Yep. I think I remember this. Gonna have to play hopscotch. Yep. So that wasn't the way to go. What is the way to go? Oh, oh over there! How did you survive? You bastard. <laughs> 